Hi, Gemini. This is Nayla Latrice. I am here to do a weekly read for you for January 2021. If you are new to the channel, welcome, welcome. And if you have not done so already, go ahead and hit the like button or thumbs up button and that subscribe button. And we are going to jump right into your read, Gemini. Spirit, angels, ancestors, what messages do you have for Gemini? What messages do you have for Gemini? Spirit, angels, ancestors, what messages do you have for Gemini? What messages do you have for Gemini? Please know this is a general read, so whatever comes out, it comes out, all right? All right, and so we have the Page of Wands, we have the Six of Pentacles, and we have the Three of Wands. So this is looking really, really good, Gemini. You guys are starting something brand new. I feel like you guys could be starting a brand new project, could be a brand new relationship, but I feel like for the most part, this is a um, more of a project or an adventure that you guys are going on. I feel like you guys are ready for something new in life, and it's, it's almost like you guys want to just be free is the energy that I'm feeling. You guys may want to do a lot of traveling. You guys may be traveling somewhere, but I feel like you guys uh, have been feeling stuck, and you guys are trying to get out of the stuck energy, and it's like you guys are just wanting to see what else is out here in the world for you it's like okay i see all these options over here but what else is there it's like you're feeling like there's way more to life than what you have experienced and i feel like you're ready to just take a leap of faith and um just move towards something brand new or starting to plan this new um idea or trip or something that you have in your mind project uh, whatever it is. I do feel like you're in a position to where um, people are going to be giving to you. I feel like by you being in this new energy, you're opening yourself up to being able to receive. And I feel like um, Spirit is saying to open up your arms so you can receive the gifts of the universe. I feel like things are now finally balancing out for you. I feel uh, previously you could have been in relationships that were not equal give and take or um, whether it's a, even if it's a current relationship that you're in, um, maybe your partner wasn't given to you how you were giving to them. And Spirit is saying as you continue to focus on you and do things that make you happy and start these new projects, kind of you almost just have to focus on you. It will open yourself up to allow other people to come towards you because you're not giving them that attention like you used to because you're focused on you and your new projects projects and things that you want to do for your life and it's kind of like okay well let me go and see what Gemini is doing because Gemini has not rung my phone or Gemini has not brought me my breakfast how they usually do or Gemini has not uh done this or offered their services or whatever the case may be so it's causing people to return to you and give back to you. I also feel like whatever this is, it's going to be funded. So I'm not sure whatever it is you guys are starting, I feel like it will be funded and supported. You may not know how you're going to receive the uh, monies or the resources for it, but uh, Spirit is saying it will be covered. There could be something you're waiting to come in also to help pay for this, uh, but you have been manifesting. You guys are focused on something, uh, something that you guys have been working on, uh, and those ships are coming in. I don't feel like they are quite here yet, but I do feel like you are you are in the arena of them coming towards you. Some of you guys may have been receiving them already, but I do feel like there's still more work that needs to be done to bring them towards you, but you are on the right track. You are on the right path. Um, I also feel like this page of wands, whatever you're starting, it will grow to this three of wands. So, this three of wands is twofold. This three of wands is the beginning of this new project and it will grow into this three of wands and uh, so forth. But I also feel like this three of wands here is something that you guys have already been waiting on and manifesting and it is on its way to you. It's pretty much here. But again, I feel like there's still um, some things on your part that you need to do to make sure that comes into fruition. Whatever it is, you will be putting your burdens down with that 10 of wands at the bottom of the deck. Let me get three more cards for Gemini. We have the star. Yes. So again, whatever this project is, it is going to put you in the spotlight. It is going to be you are the best to do it. And I think that was your read from last from last week. 
Gemini, you're the best to do it. Or I remember that was the, the vibe of your reading. So Gemini, whatever it is that you have been working on, I feel like it's something you guys have been keeping under wraps or been keeping secret as well. But Spirit is saying that um, you guys are one of the best to do it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So we also have uh, the chariot. Again, you will be moving forward. You guys have a clear dire direction, a clear plan of where you guys want to go. You guys are mapping things out for you. And by you doing this, again, you be, you will be receiving what you put out there. So it's, it's um, uh, what, whatever you're speaking, know that that is what you are manifesting into your life. So if you continue to speak negative, do know that you're going to continue to receive negative around the situation that you are speaking on. I do feel like like there is something that you ha you have cut off or there's something that you need to cut off but I do feel like you've already cut some people off already and they're kind of sad they're hurt that you have cut them off and that you have let them go but I feel like you did this because it was best for you absolutely somebody from the past wants to come back around or either they're having a lot of thoughts about you as well and they have this ace of cups and four of cups is under there as well so whoever this person is you cut off or you moved away from they do still have a lot of love for you but whatever again this is general so take what resonates and take what doesn't if you do want a personal read you can find the information down below in the description box but overall just in general you did what was best for you and what was best for you was cutting this person out of your life and i feel like by you cutting them out of your life it freed you up to focus again more on you like i said you're let you're letting go and you're walking away from people and things that are not serving you which is opening you up to receive from the universe and it's making this other person uh want to come back as well and i feel like even though this is the six of cups here and then the ace of cups i feel like this is multiple people also wanting to come back with multiple opportunities so it could be a past love absolutely but um, some of you guys could already be in relationships as well. And this is, there's no past lover to come back towards towards you. I feel like this is could be past opportunities or people that feel like they missed opportunities with you that, uh, that want to come back and offer you these opportunities. They see that you're on top within your career field or whatever it is that you're doing, whatever project you're working on, or just that you're doing good in life overall. And they kind of want to come back in and attach themselves to you. And you're kind of like, uh-uh. Nope, not going to happen. Um, but yeah, Gemini, I am going to leave your read there. If I have said anything that has resonated with you, please comment below and let me know. Also, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And again, if you are interested in any personal reads or life coaching, then you can click the link in the description box. And until next time, bye, Gemini.